Hi everyone. So I just got the Nano uh, VNA uh, H4 from Amazon. Uh, it's about a hundred and thirty something dollars, I think. Uh, it comes in the plastic bag, so uh, it's nicely wrapped, very nicely. Um, and uh, let's see, let's let's open it up here. Not too heavy. Box looks kind of nice. As you can see, it says a vector uh, network analyzer handheld. It has some cushion in there, so it won't bump. That's nice. Uh, it has a uh, some documentation. Okay, the structure. Oh yeah, the menus, menu system. This is going to be very really, really helpful understanding, you know, what to press so that you get an idea and some other little calibration uh, steps. Oh, looks Chinese to me. Uh, so uh, nothing on that side for me. But that's going to be really, really helpful. All right, I'm going to put that away. All right, so let's see, what do we got here? We got the unit. That's really nice. That's not too heavy. Just looks pretty solid. Looks very, um, ah, these are for the calibrations. You gotta calibrate the uh, unit, make sure that's working properly. Uh, you got USB-C, uh, USB-C on both sides. Uh, then you got, uh, was it, SMA? type connections. That's really nice. Uh, looks like you got another USB, but this time USB-C and then USB-A. That's very useful. And uh, looks like you have some type of uh, thing to hold and I wonder if that's a way to press what you need on instead of using your fingers. Well, that's possible. Okay, I'm gonna put that away. All right. And uh, it's, it says Nano VNA. And it's not that very heavy. Let me peel this off. Okay, that looks pretty clean, nice. Uh, the markings they're not very clean um that might not be a good sign the the stamping of the letters are a bit uh, rubbed out mm, not liking that but okay uh we'll see if that doesn't rub off uh, you got two connections and you have a zero port and a one port Zero port is in the bottom right there, and then the one port on the top. The zero port is the one that you use uh, for checking radios and stuff, the antennas. And uh, in the back, you've got some information, and probably the manual or the website. So you can definitely use your phone. QR code, I believe that's what it's called. Then on the side, you have uh, a thing that goes back and forth, a rocker, I guess to, to on in the switch. The rocker, I think, is to move to the frequencies that you want to go into. Uh, USB-C, that's really nice. That's really convenient, having USB-C. Th things are getting more standardized. And then, you know, around... There aren't any ports or anything. It's it's plasticky, um, you know, kind of like a hobby type plastic. Nothing really that special. It's, it's not made out of metal or anything, but you know that's pretty good. Here, let me bring on my iPhone eight, and you can see it's smaller than my iPhone eight, and definitely the screen is also smaller. And here's my uh, handy pocket knife. 
Yeah, the pocket knife is definitely smaller. But the thickness is not that very thick, this unit. And overall, you can easily put it in your pocket. That is the, uh, the, this analyzer. But I wouldn't put it in my pocket. You never know if it would damage the screen or not. So let's turn it on. Oh, the font looks pretty cool. <laughs> Nano VNA H4 gives you the uh, kind of like the firmware or the kernel. Um, and it looks like and gives you other types of information. You probably have to touch the screen or plug something in for it to change that screen that you see there. So definitely I'm going to read up, watch the video. Because um, uh, it doesn't seem to go away. So there's probably a trick to it. Which again, it's, uh, it's a good feel again. So overall, I think it's, uh, it's a worthy thing to look at. So if you like the video, please subscribe. I'll see you later. Be safe. Bye-bye.